Hey guys, I get a ton of Primavera P6 questions from people all over the world. So here's one from a recent members only webinar that we did at plantacademy.com. It's pretty relevant and I thought I'd share it with you. Check it out. What are the benefits of using retain logic, progress override, or actual dates in schedule options when we want to update progress on Primavera P6? Good question again. I'm gonna explain really quick. I have another example for you. This is another very common question that we get a lot of. And I have an example project for you. Okay, let's progress the schedule really quick, okay? So, status tab. This schedule, watch what's going on. If I look at the activities, I have A, D, and F. So let's say A is done. Let's say D is done, and let's say F is done. Now let's go to B, and let's say we didn't do B, but we did C, okay? And um, we could do the same thing. Let's say we didn't do G, let's see, because we have F, G, and H. Let's say we didn't do G, but we did H. Okay, so H is out here. So let's say we are... I'm just going to try to figure out what our new data date is. I'll have my data date around here, the week of the January 19th. Okay, so move the data date. Oh, man. Is this going to happen every time? <laughs> Probably. This is my life. Uh, January 19th at the end of the week. So let's, let's say it's Friday. Okay. Retain logic is on. Okay, so watch what happens. <clears throat> okay, so let's review. Retain logic. Retain logic means retain the logic links that are in your schedule to make sure that you follow them. And I did not follow the logic when I updated the schedule. I didn't execute A, then B, then C as I planned to do. When you plan your work, you say, I'm doing A, and then I'm doing B, and then I'm doing C. That's the order that you plan to do it in. But instead, I did A, and then I did C, and I skipped B altogether. So when I do, that's what we call out-of-sequence execution. So when I have an out-of-sequence situation like this, which tends to happen, Primavera is keeping the logic alive. It's saying, hey, all right. You screwed up. You did A, and then you did C, and you didn't do B. So the next activity right after the data date, the first thing you should do now is B. Okay, let's look at F. F, we skipped G, and then we did H. Okay? So the same thing is happening here. It's saying as soon as you get back to work, you should do G. So that's why these guys get butted up against the data date line. So that's what retain logic does. It says keep those links absolutely alive. It's important that we keep those links alive. That to me is proper, uh, is what I recommend. I recommend you use retain logic. Progress override, what does it do? So if I reschedule this project with progress override, um, notice in the top case, not, nothing shifted except that these are no longer driving links. They're now non-driving. But in, in down here, I no longer have to do, um, I can do I and G at the same time. Because basically it said, well, you're not following the logic anyways. So we'll keep, we'll keep alive any logic from the data date forward and we'll ignore anything before that. So that's why it says, well, okay, so you should do G and you should do I, but just do them at the same time. Okay, so this is a different result. This is more, much more flexible, but when we get back down to brass tacks of CPM scheduling and planning and scheduling, most companies and most experts will say retain logic all the time. So what happens if you do do progress out of sequence? Well, there's different thoughts on that. Uh, and I might have to remind myself all of them, but I believe what they would recommend you do is you would actually change the links and you would say, okay, A to C and then C to B. You would alter the links and then continue progressing. Uh, you work that way. 
Okay, in, in this case too, you would change the link. So F goes to H and then H goes to G, I, and then J. So that's a little bit about uh, progress override. And the last guy, I you know what? I know almost everything about P6 and this is the one thing I have no idea what it does and I can't figure it out. So what actual dates do, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just sorry, I have dug into it, but uh, you get different results here and I still can't really figure out what it's doing. So um, in in my walks through the, uh, the the landscape here, nobody asks about actual dates or uses it. So it's usually just retain logic and project progress over ride, excuse me. So Eunice, hopefully I answered those questions for you. Um, hopefully, you know, if you're there in the chat, you can just let me know what you think. Hey, it's Michael again. I really hope you found this video helpful. And just a quick reminder to let you know that we have some amazing Primavera P6 courses at plantacademy.com. And we offer full support for those who take courses with us. So we're here to help you answer your questions and let you succeed with Primavera P6.